We're here at this Natural Resource Defense Council, an environmental entrepreneur event. Um, it's about clean vehicles, and it's about really talking about California's future and how California can be driving that future of lower global warming pollution and petroleum independence. The technology, as you can see before us, it's, it's, it's ready to go. Um, but the question is whether the government will set standards, pollution standards, fuel economy standards, which will drive these technologies to market. There's obviously a lot of technology, a lot of innovation going on in this area. And the question is, where are the Detroit manufacturers? And right now, they spent their past decade building SUVs. Well, if you see where that right now, with $3 gallon gasoline, SUV sales have fallen off a cliff. And these companies are in distress. The future, really, for any company is what we see around us. It's clean vehicles, it's advanced technology, it's non-petroleum. That is the future. Uh, this is something which is uh, just amazing and beautiful to look at, even if it wasn't an environmentally friendly vehicle. But it is, because look, mom, no tailpipe. It's an electric vehicle roadster. And in fact, this thing has supercar kind of acceleration. It goes from zero to 60 in about four seconds. California is a very fertile ground for the new policies. Uh, recently passed the Global Warming Solution Act, AB 32, which will reduce global warming pollution from transportation by 25% in 2020. It means that we're going to have to see a lot more of these kinds of vehicles and that biodiesel vehicle, that plug-in electric vehicle, uh, out on the roads um, in order to meet those standards. So they're coming, uh, but we need those reading the correct policies in place to make sure that you and I can buy these vehicles.